Hello everyone and welcome to the second episode of Let's Play Zelda Classic! The Legend of Zelda Flow of Time! Last time we begun this quest, got ourselves the sword! And made our way to the first dungeon after going through a somewhat lengthy intro! Which was kind of nice, neat actually. I'm not sure how many Zelda Classics have somewhat lengthy intros. Hear the sound of water draining. It sounded like it was on the, this floor. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, hello, Moblin. Keys, of course. Why not? And a bunch of stuff. Somehow they almost dead. Jeez. So maybe I should focus on not tanking. Hmm, got the dungeon map. And I cannot use the spacebar map. That is not great, but... At least the map is pretty good for the sub map. Can I push these? I can't push these. Meaning I can just do this. Of course, now that I think about it, can't deep like that! I was afraid that was gonna happen. I was about to say, can't the blade traps clip through the blocks and then the blade trap clips through the block before I even had a chance to say it? Oh, that was great. Alright. Let's go up here and I appear as though I need bombs. Huh, you have a neat AI. I should, I should like that AI a lot. Hmm. Alright, well, what's up here? I can't really do much except kill a bunch of Octoroks, which is always fun. Pick on Octoroks. And I get rewarded for picking on picking down Octoroks with a compass. Which is nice, and it Can I? See the other subfloors. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and so it's those floor B um BF1 and B2F. So if I go to the controls, where are my EXC buttons? My EX buttons are one, two, four, and W, okay. What about L and R? Do those do anything? Nope, they don't appear to do squat. Alright. I was kind of hoping that'd be neat if he made it so that map could have changeable floors. But apparently he did not, although... I've never used ZC, so I'm not sure how difficult that'd be to do in ZC, so... Now I have to backtrack, backtrack and go to that room. But you guys still have to backtrack, I do. I thought I'd just cut out the backtracking for you guys. Oh sweet, a bomb bag already. That's nice. Whoa. 20 bombs, that's that's a lot to start with. That's not bad. Although now I think that's to my on my B button, so that might be gone pretty fast. Because I might use a bomb when I mean to use a sword, because I'm used to my sword being in my B button. It's probably a bad habit in CC now that I think about it, because a lot of the so the classic quests might just Ouch use the A button for the sword, which is something I don't do. I use my the B button because I don't know that makes the most sense to me. Seeing how that's only like that in Zelda One, which I mean ZZ is based off of Zelda One. Because when I play the Game Boy games, I always switch to my um switch to my B button as soon as I had a chance. Actually, now that I think about it, I missed a thing. I should go back in the. There's a thing I could blow up back here. Why didn't I? I should have gone back and gotten that at first. Not... I've completely forgotten about it, which... Wow, these keys drop a lot of money! Like, a lot of money! It's insane, maybe I will be able to afford that, uh... That new wallet before long. That would be quite nice. Of course, I'm not sure how much a lot of things cost in this, so... I'm not sure how useful a bigger wallet would be, but... It's always useful to a degree. You got a swamp key. This key can only be used in Glade Creek Swamp. Okay, that's um good, I guess, because that now means I can progress. So it's a good thing I backtracked. Otherwise, I would not have been able to progress. Yeah. Well, that death probably saved me time. I don't know. Actually, now that I think about it, it probably didn't save me time. Because I could have probably finished off those ropes and been... In this room already. The time it took for this it to load and whatnot. So yeah, I don't know. 
That probably wasn't speed one tactics. But who knows? I might be wrong. Maybe I did speed one. And actually, what's this say? Link of Desire! I will, you You find these tablets? I can. I'm able to communicate with you. In this dungeon, you can control the flow of water using crystal switches. A switch doesn't necessarily change the flow of water for the room you're in, so be alert. Good luck, Link. Okay. Good, so multi room puzzles. Hmm. I like that. Hmm, block puzzle. Alright, well, let's think about this. Okay, I think I got this. I didn't want to make you guys watch me trying to figure out this block puzzle because that could have been a long process, which might not have been a lot of fun to watch. So I took the liberty of not recording that. I mean, honestly, it took me about only about 30 seconds to figure this out, but still. That is not a whole lot of fun to watch. I mean, it's going, hmm, um... Oh, that's right. I don't have the level 2 shield. What was I thinking? More of these... Fiends. That's interesting. They don't chase. Oh wait, maybe yes, they do chase you. They just get the sights on one spot and then don't give up. Apparently, something like that. Should I have? I need to backtrack a bit. Ouch! Let's go down and check out this room. I was never in here. It's probably chest. Okay. Whoops. I knew I was going to do it! I knew I was accidentally going to use bombs at one point, and it appears like I can't even do anything in here quite yet. I think. Yeah, I don't think I can. Alright. So that was a waste of time. Well, back to the room I was in. Yeah, I died. Shoot. Alright, then back in this room, and to think I died like that. Oh, it's pretty obvious why it's taking me a long time to beat the Super Boss and Zelda in our rebirth. Even on normal mode. I'm just not the greatest Zelda player out there. I like Zelda a lot, but I'm just not super great at it. Whatever. Yeep, Starfos! Why did I freak out about Starfos? Seed Satchel Belt, now you can carry Slingshot Seeds. And Hmm. I'm getting a lot of items in this dungeon. Hmm. Although... Looks like I can carry a lot of items too, so that makes sense, I suppose. There's a key in this room, I probably have to make the water flow down. There we go, just had to use my shield. And mobile traps. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like this quest. I like, I tend to like the quest of more complicated dungeons. Than more than Zelda 1-esque dungeons, personally, just because I find those more entertaining and interesting. Which explains my choice of quests. Alright, Stalfos. You need to die. Although, how many varieties of Stalfos have I encountered in this dungeon so far? I feel like I've encountered multiple varieties. Um, yeah, let's go this way first. Okay, can't. And that's just. And this takes me out of the dungeon! Shoot. That's not good. I'll keep that in mind! So that means, guys, I'll meet you guys back in the dungeon. Alright, then I'm back in here. You know, I really do not appreciate being sent into that cave. I feel like it's a waste of time. The water seems to have cut off in this room. If you look below, you can see swamp caverns. And there's probably something in there, so I'm falling back down again! <sighs> Which means I gotta climb all the way back up into the dungeon. I will. I'm probably gonna get a theme for this anyways. Come here, you. Alright, so what's up here? Apparently a chest. Okay, so maybe I had to fall down. Well, I mean, obviously, but... Apparently sends me back into the dungeon. Now, the only issue, though, is that I'm gonna have to... I mean, the heart piece is definitely good, that is actually very good, but now... I have to head make my way all the way back into the dungeon. So guys, I'll meet you guys back in the dungeon, again. Oops. Alright, right over that way is the room where you fall into the cavern. This is the room before that room. 
So let's head south because I have yet to do that. And there's probably a key down here. As well as potential death. Let's, let's try solving this one on camera. It shouldn't be. Doesn't look like it's an incredibly difficult um, puzzle. Hopefully I don't just put my mouth on my foot when I said that. And did I just put my mouth on my foot when I said that? And um, no, I did not. Okay, I can see this off. It's good. Okay, yeah, I can. Thank goodness. All right. That and uh, you're the sound of joining while they're above you. Alright, so it's on the floor above me, apparently. As for where it is, I'm not too sure. Suppose we'll have to find out together. Although, I do have an idea of where it might be. So let's try making our way over there. Have I explored all this floor? No, I have not. Like, not at all. We're gonna have to go through this blade trap room again, which is. Honestly, an easy blade trap to avoid. Not difficult in the slightest. And yes, it's that place that I was joining. Now, how do I get there? Uh, I think I see how I get there. Oof, first thing that I was gonna die. <laughs> yeah, that worked out. Well, night. That worked out better than I thought it would. Eh. I'm happy about that. Now, if you excuse me, little tentacle monsters, I'd much rather not be attacked by you. Ah, yes, I can go up here now. And get that key. And now to head back even more. Because I have, an, I have an idea of where to use this key. However, that requires backtracking. Back to the room where I fell down at. You know, fell down into the swamp cavern. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys know how to get there now, right? Alright? I guess I'm not that far, so maybe I'll just walk there with you guys, and or maybe not. All right, I'll meet you guys in that room. All right, that room, the last room was the room with the blade traps that I died in. Honestly, the fact I'm dying this much in the first dungeon is kind of a bad sign. One, it means I'm being careless. Two, this is going to be a difficult quest. Like I said, I kind of like going quests blind. I don't think I said that. But I like going to quests blind because it to me is a lot more interesting. It also means I have no idea about the difficulty. And this happens to be kind of a difficult quest, apparently. That and I'm kind of being careless. Um Let's go down here first. Alright, never mind, I can't go down there. Blowing up the walk it is! What's up here? More technical monsters. I'm just gonna ignore you. Lots of ropes. Lots of ropes! Why's it gotta be snakes? It's always snakes. That was. I am bad. <laughs> I am really bad. Oh boy! Alright, I'm back here. Oh, man, I would. I have a mate. I'm good at Zelda Classic, huh, guys? I'm the best. Like, no one ever was. I mean, seriously, that's why you guys watch me for my pro skills, right? Right? No, you probably don't. And I think I'm trying to beat the super boss and I have rebirth and I'm doing this bad. Nick, I can sense you've come far in this stone temple. I can sense you have been gathering pieces of a slingshot. The slingshot will most certainly help you in this quest, but bear in mind you may need many parts to use it. You will need the actual slingshot, a pouch for carrying seeds, and of course some slingshot seeds. You can get all the pieces, I'm sure. I am sure you can find a way to con conquer this dungeon. Oh, hello. Holy cow, did you just do hard half of damage? Hmm. Well, shoot. I'll see you guys back there again. Alright, let's try this again. Maybe I won't die horribly this time. 
Get blown up, son! Get blown up, son! Oh, that doesn't even work! That's... Stay away from me. Do a lot of damage. Don't get careless! Don't tank! Focus. Yes! Okay. They got the same shot. Okay, so now I can hit switches. I'm pretty sure I got the pouch, so... Yes, I did, okay. Let's backtrack, because I know there's a place I can use this. Like, for example, of course, I need a key first, so... But what does this do to that yellow switch? Neither what sound okay. Okay, so rather drowned. Okay, that's rather drowned. Rather drained, excuse me. Okay, so the seeds seem to do pretty good amount of damage. Which is good because I'm only using them left and right. Why did I do that? Okay, now I can leave the room. Hello, Keys. No. Keys! Excuse me, ropes. Stay away from me, technical monsters. Alright, so it's over this way. Ooh, chest. 30 bombs! That's good. That's more than I can even carry, actually. Hmm. So let's go ahead and return to the, re return to the beginning. When I'm going to be at full health, and I'm pretty sure there's a thing over here I need this for. So yeah, this definitely does more damage than the sword. It's able to kill Blue Octorox in one hit. But normally it takes my sword two hits to do so. So yeah, that's definitely a good weapon to use. So yes, over here. It's going to allow me to get access over here, which will allow me to gain access to a chest containing a key. Which is nice. Which I know exactly where to use this key too. Active press F6 so we can get there quicker. Using this teleport whore. We can head on over to that one room where we lowered the water. Because... They needed a key! Hello Keys, I see you're back. Why do I keep calling the ropes Keys? The ropes! Ouch, not Keys. I know this. Oh, I need another key. Hmm. Oh, shoot. Let's... Try it into the lower floor and see where I haven't been in there, I suppose. Because, uh... I need the key. Alright, so appears as though I have yet to be... Jeez, I'm getting a lot of money, and I think I'm probably at my max. Sitting on 235 is probably my max. Hmm. Ouch. And I can't even get over there that way. Hmm. Alright, I have an idea. I have an idea. Includes killing these killing these guys again because I need to get over here. So I'm pretty sure there's a place for me to use this in here. Ouch. Oh hey, actually I can blow this up now. Alright, so I can indeed blow that up. Show what's up here. Can't even go over there. Ah, yes, the dungeon. I figured as much now. Do I get the key in here? Actually, probably not, because I didn't hear. It's 50. Game, I didn't need that money. You know? Oh well. So it's over this way. Bunch of more of these moblins to kill, obviously, because I gotta kill them again. For reasons. It's down here again, I forgot. Wait, actually, can I. 
No, I'm not gonna open that chest in case it has um, a heart piece in there. Oh, not heart piece. Uh, money in there. Because if it has money in there, that's gonna be annoying. Well, actually, what's. Can I. Oh, I can. Why haven't I hit this switch before? You heard? Hey. A loud noise in a nearby room. Hmm. I wonder what that meant. Probably a good thing, I would assume. Maybe it's something in here. Or maybe not. Bet I can blow that up, though. Stay away from me, Stalfos. Is it down lower? Okay, is it in here? Yes, it is. Can I still not... I can probably push one of these, though. No. Hmm. Strange. Well, whatever. I'll meet you guys back in the dungeon. I have an idea of where to go now. Spent some time thinking, I figured, hey, maybe going back to where I got the area where I got the bomb back might not be a bad idea. Because I have, I have not been over there in a while. That appears to be the quadrant where I get the key. Okay, in reality, I, um... Did some scouting because I didn't want to have to... Record something and to be nothing. I wanted there to be progress, so I did a bit of scouting. And it turns out there is something over here. I wanted to make... I wanted to go ahead, go ahead and head back to the dungeon. To make sure you guys know where to go. In case you want to use this as a guide. Oh, shoot. I'm going to use my seeds to kill these guys. Because, well, there's a lot of damage. Alright. You got ourselves a key. Excellent. Which means now we need to head back. Which we can just simply do this. And a little bit of that. Use the portal. I mean, I, guess I should not be saying everything I'm doing, because I personally think that's a bit lazy commentary. <sighs> but what else am I going to talk about? I'm not really too sure you ropes die before I die. While I'm picking up that money, I don't need it. It's stupid. I'm already maxed out, and I'm in my first dungeon. Alright. So what's in here? Boss key? Boss key, baby. Excellent. Another blue rope. Alright, and we know exactly where the boss store is because we found it earlier while exploring. So let's head that clear together, shall we? So that way we can... Conquer the boss, maybe the first try. Although, I mean, I died the first try on the mini boss, so I don't know. Maybe I'll die the first try on the regular boss. So maybe it's his other one of us. I don't know. We shall see. Or perhaps I'm going to die on the way there. <sighs> right. I'm better ZC. As if that isn't obvious already. Yeah, well... I still don't have to go super far, but... Still, that's annoying I'm dying so often. Oh well. I suppose this is technically practice for the super boss on Isle of Rebirth. You know, I should probably stop referencing that so often, but... I don't know. Sometimes it's hard to think about something to talk about when you've been inside a dungeon for a while. You just like grasping at straws, trying to find something to say. I don't know. It's just the way it is. Alright, boss. Give me something interesting to talk about. Hello? Oh. I see. I have to hit you when your mouth is open. That makes sense. You neat little Zora guy.
What is that? I have to get in front of you. I can't attack you from any angle that makes sense, I suppose. I can't use my sword on you even you like that. Oh. Technical monster, got it. Shoot, I missed you. Ouch! Stupid fireball. Come here, you need to kill you so I can get your seeds, so I can... Okay, this is getting a bit interesting and intense. Curses. Going in for a heart and a half of health, that's a brilliant idea. But there's no easy way to for your health in this dungeon, so I'm kind of stuck with doing that. Beat him second try, that's good. And got a hard container, that's. That's good. This is going to be a difficult quest. Oh boy. You got the Oro Stone the Foundation, this mystical stone that signifies the cycle of life. Link, Link, can you hear me? It is me, Aluya, since you've got it in the water stone. These mystic stones are said to house tremendous holy energy that can break evil's clutches. I know you can find another stone. Miss Aluya, Miss Aluya, look what I found! Wow, what is that beautiful stone? I don't know. I found it in the caves in town. Do you think it's worth a lot of money? Good, so you shouldn't pillage treasure from the village. You should return it. You should return it to where you found it. If you think I should, I imagine it's worth a lot of money, though. I didn't tell him, but that stone he brought to me was in fact an Aurora stone. I did not want the stone to fall into the wrong hand, so I had him return it. He found the stone in a cavern sanctuary in the village of Ravon, my hometown. And I was taken cavity. Martha used my powers to destroy Bivro. Thinking about that my friends and family I lost is almost too much to bear. Even worse, if the entire village now lies in ruins, the cavern sanctuary may be in ruins as well. I suggest I make your way to Bavor. Savage the debris and recover the war stone. Proven courage already by crying your first stone. If you can recover this stone, I don't think anyone, anyone can. Be careful, Link. Okay, well, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. We completed the first dungeon and got our first Aurora Stone, as well as two new items the bomb bag and the scene shot. Anyways, guys, next time we are, I guess, going to explore the overworld in hopes of finding stuff and perhaps finding another dungeon and making more progress. Anyways, guys. See you then!